Welcome back, Vikes. Today we'll be taking a look at the school lunch. As well as the contest for the new Topeka flag. Now here's your news. You got the chance to talk to some staff and students about the school lunch. Let's go find out more about the school lunches. Lunch is an important part of the day, and it's been my favorite part of school for over a decade. We decided to talk to some lunch staff to find out how they make the food, as well as some students' input on the school lunch. Uh, first, we have to figure out our counts on how many kids are probably going to be eating that menu item. And then we have to pull all of our cases. My main dish starts at 5.30 in the morning to get lunch ready, so then we have to count everything out put it on the trays, bake it, steam it, whatever we need to do. So yeah, it's, it's a juggle every day. The lunch staff also had to be aware of allergies. We asked her how they tackled those issues. Food safety, making sure everything gets cooked to temp, no cross-contamination or anything like that. If we have any special diets, we need to make sure we meet those, you know, eat gluten-free, you know, allergies or any kind, we need to make sure to keep those contained too, so. The lunch staff made sure to bring positivity and energy to every dish they put out. We decided to ask students how the positivity translated to the taste. I think it's very, very flavorful. Uh, it's just amazing. I love it. I eat it every day. It's just great. Glad to hear that so many students enjoy the school lunch. We'll catch you next time, Vex. Pretty cool stuff. My favorite meal are the Mac sticks. Mine too. Now for your daily news. A, Kansas, a Kansas Hunter safety instructor will be in the library at 1030 tomorrow. Anyone interested, go to the library group on Schoology to sign up. The book club is having a meeting at 1045 tomorrow in the library. See Ms. Esser with any questions. Spirit Club <coughs> now has an Instagram. Go follow them. Students interested in joining the Student Advisory Council can fill out the online form on Schoology. Don't forget that next week is Color Chaos. Shirts and colors will be sold during lunch on the 6th, 11th, and the 13th. Now let's head over to sports. Don't vape, because you will get lung cancer and you will die. Don't vape in the classroom. Don't vape in the bathroom. Don't vape in the parking lot. Just don't vape, promise? Vaping may seem harmless but it can lead many lasting effects, such as breathing problems, bloody sores, weakened immune system, and insomnia. Majority of teens don't know that most vape contains nicotine, which can lead to a potential drug addiction. Okay, everybody take some candy. No. <laughs> Remember guys, the essay that's due Monday could make or break your grade. Oh, I feel so unorganized. Is there a place you can take me to fix my trade of writing? Yeah, I can take you to the Writing Center. Ever wanted help with an essay? Go to the Writing Center to improve upon your six traits of writing, grammar, formatting, thesis statement, proofreading, and how to avoid plagiarism. Make an appointment to meet with a tutor during seminar or come in before or after school. Oh wow, thanks for taking me to the Writing Center. Students that have qualified for the free or reduced meal program, you can stop by the athletic office for an athletic pass. Blackout is the theme for Friday night's home game against Hayden. Now over to Josh with the weather. Well, Vikes, I'm still a little under the weather, probably because it's been so dreary this week, but here's your forecast nonetheless. For the game tomorrow, here's an early preview. We are looking at temperatures that are going to be quite comfortable, mostly in the middle to upper 60s. Right now, I think it's going to be dry, but this is something we'll continue to monitor over the next 24 hours or so. Heading into Saturday, it's going to be a very nice day. Some showers will be possible in the morning, and this could linger into the afternoon, depending on how slow Gordon is to exit. But otherwise, highs are going to be in the 60s, so some very cool weather on the way for your first half 
of the weekend. And now for your SVTV seven day forecast, you can see that temperatures kind of go down and then go back up. It's a roller coaster ride of temperatures with rain finally ending for the second half of the weekend and into early next week as more sunshine and middle ladies return. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Josh. Topeka is having a contest to redesign the flag. Some of the classes at our school are participating. He went and talked to Mr. LeDuc to learn more. Our design, drawing, and graphic design classes have been working on a project to help redesign the Topeka flag. So the Topeka City Council uh, recently decided to redesign or have a call for art to redesign the current Topeka City flag, which is definitely a little bit lacking if you've never seen it before. So they uh, put out a call for art this past summer, uh, and it's open to anybody who lives in Shawnee County. And so uh, several classes here at Seaman High School are in the process of having students redesign the city flag. The students have been preparing to design their own flag to be submitted into the contest. It's really interesting uh, how critical of an eye you can develop uh, within flags. Like I, I really knew nothing about flags uh, you know, as a teacher, but in the past week or two, I've, we've, we've together learned quite a bit. But we've looked at some of the flags uh, that are poorly designed and, and maybe uh, better designed. Uh, and we've looked at a list of uh, uh, rules that the Vexillogical Association has created kind of based on you know, what, a, what a good flag has or a bad flag has. And uh, the organization, the city, Topeka City Council, who uh, has encouraged this competition uh, sent out uh, an email with a, you know, different things that we could share with our students and one of those was a TED talk by a, a man named Roman Mars uh, who's kind of a radio show host who does different design shows and so his whole TED talk is just about flags and, uh, and so we've shared that with our students and uh, that's definitely helped us develop a critical eye and helped us prepare and so we also did some, uh, some group presentations where students uh, worked together and uh, decided on different uh, organ or different uh, different flags from sports flags to nation flags to uh, city flags to state flags, and then had to work together as a group and uh, find good and bad or uh, you know well and poorly designed flags to uh, to share with each other. So, an award has been created for the top flag design. So uh, so yeah, if you're if you're winning or if your design is chosen as a winning design, uh, then they're gonna I think select maybe the top three or four, and then my understanding is they're gonna create the the final flag kind of from the top two or three or four uh, selections. Somebody recently uh, in our community uh, created an award for this. So if you're under the age of 18, there's a thousand dollar cash prize. And then if you're 18 or above, there's a $2,000 cash prize for the winning design. Submissions will be accepted until 5 p.m. on September 30th, 2018. We'll be back soon with an update when the winners are announced. Good luck to all the students working on a flag. That's all we have for today, Vikes. We'll catch you back here next time. Stay classy.